Friday, the 17th of May, 2024, of the seventh week of Easter. Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. There is no one richer than such a man, none more powerful, none more free, who knows how to leave himself and all things, and to put himself in the very lowest place. Daily Prayer Lord Jesus, inflame my heart with your love and burn away everything within it that may be unloving, unkind, ungrateful, unholy, and not in accord with your will. May I always love what you love and reject what is contrary to your love and will for my life. Amen. Introduction to the Liturgy of the Word The greatest thing about the Apostle Peter, which surpasses even the atrocity of his sin, is his love for Jesus Christ. As Christ's triple question makes clear, nothing can quench that love. It makes Peter willing to be led where he does not want to go, eager to love, like Jesus, to the end. That same love and conviction are what send Paul before Caesar. The Epistle Jesus had died whom Paul claimed to be alive. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 25, verse 13. King Agrippa and Bernice arrived in Caesarea on a visit to Festus. Since they spent several days there, Festus referred Paul's case to the king, saying, there is a man here left in custody by Felix. When I was in Jerusalem, the chief priests and the elders of the Jews brought charges against him and demanded his condemnation. I answered them that it was not Roman practice to hand over in an accused person before he has faced his accusers and had the opportunity to defend himself against their charge. So when they came together here, I made no delay. The next day I took my seat on the tribunal and ordered the man to be brought in. His accusers stood around him, but did not charge him with any of the crimes I suspected. Instead, they had some issues with him about their own religion and about a certain Jesus who had died but who Paul claimed was alive. Since I was at a loss how to investigate this controversy, I asked if he were willing to go to Jerusalem and there stand trial on these charges. And when Paul appealed that he be held in custody for the emperor's decision, I ordered him held until I could send him to Caesar. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 103 Responsorial verse The Lord has established His throne in heaven. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being. Bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. 
For as the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing is his kindness toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he put our transgressions from us. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, you mighty in strength who do his bidding. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Holy Spirit will teach you everything and remind you of all I told you. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel. Feed my lambs, feed my sheep. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John chapter 21 verse 15. After Jesus had revealed himself to his disciples and eaten breakfast with them, he said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. He then said to Simon Peter a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that he had said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you. When you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. He said this, signifying by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said to him, Follow me. The Gospel of the Lord Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation After Jesus had eaten breakfast with them. John chapter 21 verse 15 The disciples had just finished a sunrise breakfast with Jesus. Now it was time for the risen Lord to take Peter aside for a private chat. The apostle must have wondered what the Lord would say to him. His memory of that awful day when he denied Jesus three times could not have been far from his mind. And the charcoal fire used to grill the fish was just another bitter reminder of it. John chapter 18, verse 17. Yet, Jesus was not interested in rehashing Peter's failures. He had another purpose in mind. He wanted to cleanse Peter's guilty conscience. So after asking him three times, Do you love me? Once for every time Peter denied him, the Lord invited him to feed his sheep. John chapter 21, verse 15. Jesus not only forgave Peter, 
but he also affirmed his calling as an apostle and leader of the church. What a blessing that early morning meeting must have been for Peter. Sometimes we approach God with lingering regrets about our shortcomings or past failings. These memories and guilty feelings can keep us distant from the Lord and prevent us from fully trusting in His mercy and His promises. Even after receiving absolution and confession, we might still feel disheartened when we recall our past. Or we might be tempted to think that we can never really be worthy of following Jesus or of helping others to know Him. Jesus moved Peter from clinging to sins of the past to receiving mercy in the present, and He wants to do the same for us. His mercy knows no bounds. Not only that, but He longs to pour it out on us. In fact, once we've repented and received His forgiveness, the only reason to remember our shameful moments is so that we can recall His compassion and mercy. Christ died and rose so that you might be forgiven completely let him take you aside, perhaps early each morning, and assure you of his unconditional love and mercy for you. The more deeply you experience this mercy, the more equipped you will be to answer the Lord's call to feed my sheep. Jesus May I trust in your mercy all the days of my life. Amen. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May his peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Shirley, residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. Or, if you know like-minded people, like yourself, that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.